Okay, so to continue our coverage over the Dawn of X, we pick up with Marauders number six. Now, with that being said, Marauders number six will pick up where our last Marauders video left off at. Now, remember, the Marauders were heading to Manipur, and the reason why, because Shinobi Shaw, the son of Sebastian Shaw, sent out a distress call asking for help. And the Marauders were on their way to Manipur, but while on the boat, they were were attacked by two C-list villains like the Executioner and Hatemonger. Now the reason why these two characters are here right now is because they're working for a new evil organization that is trying to bring down the Hellfire Club. And this new organization is known as Verendi. And I really hope I pronounced that correctly. But either way though, right now they're the ones who are plotting to bring down the Hellfire Club because they were hired to. Now with all that being said, right now they're trying to bring down the Marauder ship. But at the very last second, we do see that Pyro is stabbed. Now he's not stabbed where a point where it could be fatal. This stab is actually very important for the new evil organization. Now the reason why the stab was so important is because the stab gave another character the ability to get inside the body of Pyro and that person is Yellow Jacket. Now Yellow Jacket was the bad guy in Ant-Man 1 the movie but with that being said Yellow Jacket does have the same ability as Ant-Man where he's able to shrink down in size and right now Yellow Jacket is in the body of Pyro and the reason why because when Pyro goes back to Koa, this new evil organization can use Pyro as a way to gather different kinds of information on the mutant race and to hopefully bring them down. And so that is why the staff from earlier was so important so that Yellow Jacket can get a free ride over to Kakoa. But getting back over to the Marauders who are right now fighting against Hatemonger and Executioner, that is the moment they come to find out that there are some old members of the original Hellfire Club who are also helping out with this attack. For example, Donald Pierce. Now, Donald Pierce was part of the original Hellfire Club when they first appeared back in the Dark Phoenix Saga that we actually covered a long time ago. But either way, he's also helping out because he wants to bring down the Hellfire Club because he hates the idea of one, mutants, and two, the Hellfire Club no longer being under his control. But with all that being said, he does help out with the attack. But you do have Kitty Pride, Storm, and the rest of the Marauders being able to deal with all of these different supervillains and just send them on their way. And so it does seem like the day is saved and everyone can finally relax and hopefully go back to their original plan, which was to save Shinobi Shaw. Well, actually, in the last issue, they were able to go ahead and say Shinobi Shaw. And so right now, you have the Marauders all planning to go back to the Hellfire Bay, which we have saw in the earlier videos of the Marauders. But here comes one thing the book does remind us. When it comes to Kitty Pride, Kitty Pride is not able to use a Kokoan gate. And the reason why is still unknown. All we know is that for some special reason, she is unable to actually use a gate and that right there is very important and the reason why because you have the rest of the marauders actually use a gate to get back to the island of Kakoa while Kitty Pride must take their boat back and basically go the long way back home and so with that being said it does seem like everything is going to be okay now. Except here comes the big problem though. While you have Kitty Pride on her way back to Hellfire Bay, well that is the moment she is confronted by Sebastian Shaw. Now remember, when it comes to Sebastian Shaw in the Marauders series, he hates the idea that he does not have complete control over the Hellfire Club. Because when it comes to the Hellfire Club, you have three different leaders. You have the White Queen, which is Emma Frost. You have the Black King, which is Sebastian Shaw. 
and you have the Red Queen, which is Kitty Pride, and they all share the ability of controlling the company by threes. And so with that being said, you have Sebastian Shaw being very upset that he does not have complete control over the company. And so with Emma Frost making Kitty Pride the Red Queen, it's been two against one when it comes time for the company to make different kinds of decisions. And so with all that being said, Sebastian Shaw has been plotting as a way to get rid of Kitty Pride and put his son Shinobi Shaw as the Red King. So that'll be two against one against Emma Frost. And so with all that being said, it's been Sebastian Shaw just plotting things behind the scenes. Matter of fact, he was also working alongside with Emma Frost's brother, who apparently wanted Iceman to leave the Marauders and join his crew. And so either way, Sebastian Shaw has been moving pieces all over the place so that he can get Kitty Pride on her own. And the reason why he wants Kitty Pride on her own is so that he is able to actually kill her. And he does that. He traps her in some kind of vines that basically pulls her underneath the water. And so with that happening, she of course drowns. Now here comes the big problem though. Remember, Kitty Pride was unable to use a Kakoan gate, and that right there is still unknown why. But then the big question comes up, can the five bring her back to life? Because remember, the five is, is five mutants on the island of Kakoa who have the ability to bring people back to life. But the big question everyone had was, can they bring Kitty Pride back to life? Because if she dies, can the five bring her back to life? And here we are now, she's being killed. Matter of fact, she does die by the hand of Sebastian Shaw. And so now it's Sebastian Shaw getting ready to hopefully move his son into the Red King spot so he can get more control of the Hellfire Company. But with all that being said, this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy today's comic book video. Later, guys.